Welcome to STEM, brought to you by the Pikes Peak Library District. I'm Melissa, and today we're going to have fun with zip lines while we learn how gravity and friction affect them. Your challenge will be to take items that you have around your house and create a carrier, a device, that will carry a small plastic animal from the top of your zip line to the bottom safely. But before we get started, what is a zip line? Basically, a zip line is a cable or a rope that starts at a higher point, like the back of our chair here, and ends down at the ground or at a lower point underneath our books in this case. And the line will carry a person or materials or items from that high point down to the low point to the bottom, like this. Have you ever seen or perhaps ridden on a, on a zip line? There are some near Colorado Springs and throughout the state of Colorado. A lot of people ride zip lines for fun. However, there is a village in Columbia, South America, where kids your age take a zip line in order to get to school. They live across a canyon from their school, and if they walked, it would take them over two hours to get there. So instead, they ride a zip line over half a mile from one side of where they live down to their school. That's kind of cool, isn't it? There are three things that all zip lines have in common. First of all, all zip lines have to descend. They have to go from a high point down to a low point. And this allows gravity and um, inertia to pull the carrier or the person down from the top of the zip line to the bottom. The second thing that all zip lines have, is, or most of them have actually, is a pulley. And they have a pulley which helps to attach the device, the carrier, to the cable or the rope. And the reason they have a pulley is because when you have two objects rubbing against each other, like the rope and then the, the carrier device, it causes friction. And there's a little bit of resistance there, and so it slows down movement. But if you have a pulley on your rope and your device, it reduces the friction and the carrier can move more quickly. The third thing that all zip lines have in common is that they um, have a carrier. They have some type of device that attaches or carries the person or the object or the animal from the top of the zip line down to the bottom. And that is your challenge. You are going to create a carrier for your zip line. Here are the supplies you'll need for the project. To start out when you're making your carrier, you will want to look for some recyclables or paper cups, paper bowls that you can use to make the carrier. Pipe cleaners work well to use as the device to help connect your carrier to your zip line. And then you can make a pulley using binder clips or large paper clips. And in order to connect the pipe cleaner to the cup, you will want either a hole punch or scissors. If you use scissors, please ask a grown-up to do this for you so you do not get hurt. When you're ready to do the actual testing or create your zip line, you'll then need string. Um, if you don't have string, you could use unwaxed dental floss or you could use fishing line. And you will want to connect it to a chair or some other um, tall item, even use, um, using masking tape or scotch tape so that you can remove it in order to add your device. And you'll want some kind of plastic animal in order to put that into the device. And to begin, you you'll probably want some paper and a pencil so you can make your plans of what kind of device you will create. Once you've brainstormed what carrier you're going to use and how you're going to design it, it's time to put it together. I'm going to use a styrofoam bowl and I have a hole punch. I'm going to punch holes on both sides of the bowl. If you have to use scissors, please ask a grown-up to do that for you so that you are not injured. It's a little tricky with my hole punch. Once you have the holes ready to go, it's time to add the pipe cleaner. Here we go. Your carrier is now ready. Now we're ready to add a pulley. You can either use a binder clip which is very easy, or thread on a paper clip. 
that takes a little bit more time. Now we're ready to put our zip line together. We'll start by measuring out four to five feet of string and finding two items to secure our zip line to. I'm using a bar stool and a stack of books. You want to make sure that your taller item is at least two feet higher or taller than the bottom, than your books. Next, you're going to secure your string to the items, okay? I'm going to use masking tape because I want to make sure that it's very easy to take the string off and to load my carrier on. So I'm going to put take a piece of masking tape and secure it to the top of the chair. Then I'm going to run my string down and I'm going to also tape it with masking tape down here. I found that if you just put it under the books, it slips. So I am adding a piece of masking tape onto a, I have plastic here underneath my books, and then I will put my books on top of the tape um, string to keep it in place. You want this to be pretty tight. Now we're ready to test our carrier. I'm going to use my bow and a binder clip as my pulley. So now I'm going to remove that string and we'll get it set up. Had it assembled, we will pull our carrier to the very top of our zip line and we will add a passenger. I'm going to add a little lizard and get and see if he can safely make it to the bottom of the zip line. So I'm going to put him in and here we go. Wow, he made it! Now it's your turn to try out your carrier and see how successful your carrier is. Once you've tested it, you may have to make improvements. And that's part of the engineering process, where we brainstorm, come up with an idea, create it, test it, and then fix it if it needs to be fixed or changed in any way. When you're testing your zip line, there are different kinds of tests you can do. After your initial test, you might want to add some weight. I have some pennies here that I could add into my carrier. You could also add rocks. You could test it and see how that changes it. Does your carrier move down the zip line faster? You could change the slope or the incline of your string and see how that affects it by moving it from the top down to a lower level. It'll change the incline. Another thing you might want to do with your zip line is to set up two of them next to each other and challenge one of your parents or both your parents, a brother and a sister or, and a sister to a race and see whose carrier makes it to the bottom fastest and with an item still in the carrier. There are many other challenges that you can come up with and have a great time with your zany zip line. Now remember, starting Friday, October 2nd, you can visit any one of the PPLD library locations and pick up this STEM Zany Zip Line Take and Make. They will be available as long as we have supplies. Have fun.